this is John Shannon's Moonstone in an all square beads. As you can see, they're all squares. We are going to now conduct a special treatment that incorporates round beads on a square painting. And this is really just to show you guys that yes, it can be done, and yes, it can make it even more beautiful and really sparkly. So this is showing you what it looks like without the special treatment yet. So now we're going to put several beads, all of them in round beads. We're going to place some electric diamonds for this part over here and also the white areas over here. Aside from that, we'll also place some yellow fireflies on these yellow areas that you see right over here. And then sprinkle some blue fireflies in the blue sky. And finally, these green square beads we will replace with Labradorite. And so we're going to conduct that special treatment now and get back to you once that is complete. picking off some of the light beads where we would be replacing it with electric diamonds. So these are these sections over here. Now we're going to add electric diamonds to it. Okay, so now we have the electric diamonds on the square diamond painting. As you can see, they're right over here. Those are the electric diamonds that we have placed on the painting. So remember, the grids that you have are basically guides for you to follow, but this is, you know, uh, an artwork. So you can feel free to not always follow the exact grid and place a round bead on a square grid. As you can see here, we don't even see the grids, but we see the electric diamonds. And later on, when we turn off the light, you'll be able to see it sparkle. But for now, we'll continue with the other special beads that we're going to place on the canvas. With this section, we've already removed the yellow regular square beads so that we can prepare to place the yellow fireflies which will glow in the dark on these sections. And once again, the yellow fireflies are round. And this is a square diamond painting. But we'll show you that it can be done. to remove these green sections so that we can replace some of those with Labradorite. And once again, you can choose to remove all of them if you have enough Labradorite for your special treatment. But if I were you, just choose to remove certain sections and then replace it with the Labradorite crystals. And if you've got more left, then you can always feel free to remove even more. Okay, so we've removed some of the green square beads in the bottom section of the painting. So these are the round beads in between 
the square beads and I personally think it actually makes it stand out more because it's a different shape it kind of nestles in between the square beads like they were magical fairy beads just placed on there so these are the Labradorite and then over here we've got the yellow fireflies which will glow in the dark. Also nestled in between square beads. It is easier to do a sprinkle sort of attachment onto the canvas as opposed to an enclosed space such as what we've done for the electric diamonds. This is a bit more tricky because it requires you to nudge your beads a little bit so that they fit. But if you wouldn't want to do that, you can always do a more sprinkle effect like this, which is a lot easier to do. We're going to attach the blue fireflies and also some electric diamonds to add more to the sky. And this would be the final step of our special treatment. So the curtains have been drawn and we have got the electric diamonds. These are actually the electric diamonds that are sparkling amidst the dark canvas that we have framed. Uh, this is the finished moonstone by John Shannon with version 3 special treatment that we have placed on an all square diamond painting. So I'm gonna turn the flash on so we can see it. So basically we've got the moon in electric diamonds and then we've got the Labradorite crystals for the green areas sprinkled there. We've got some yellow fireflies for this section over here. And then that's the electric diamonds for the moon and a little bit of the moonlight. And then we've got blue fireflies for the blue sky and more electric diamonds. So once again, with the lights off, we see the electric diamonds sparkling, which would not happen with an all square diamond painting. And once again, this is the reason why we like to conduct hybrid special treatments to really give your diamond painting a unique look unlike anything else out there. And based on how you have conducted your special treatment, you will have your own version that is definitely not like anybody else's. So we're gonna turn the lights off to see the fireflies. Okay, so we're now going to show you the Moonstone by John Shannon with the blue fireflies and the yellow fireflies. Once again, 
the blue fireflies are in the sky and then we've got the yellow fireflies over here and we've just basically sprinkled it so that in the dark you'll have an effect that's kind of like stars and there you go we've got the blue fireflies in the sky and then a little bit of the yellow fireflies and if you can see there are some sparkles those are actually the electric diamonds that look like they are sparkling in the sky as well so this gives your diamond painting a unique um, interactive sort of look where it really looks like it's coming alive based on how the light catches it right now we're using black light so that the camera picks up the glow in the dark beads but this is definitely something that you can see with the naked eye without the black lights um, once you have them in the dark so these are the yellow fireflies and blue fireflies